Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Nearly 40% of Indiana employers surveyed by the Chamber of Commerce say they've left jobs unfilled because of a lack of qualified applicants. More than 70% of employers say finding qualified hires is challenging, with nearly 20% calling it their biggest challenge. Indiana Chamber of Commerce Vice President Derek Rendelman says part of the reason there are so many unfilled positions is that the Hoosier economy has changed and people have been slow to realize it. Rendelman says unemployed Hoosiers should focus on getting job certifications or a two-year degree. Terre Haute's poorest residents are at the highest risk for lead poisoning, according to an Indiana State University study. Lead is most commonly found in houses built before 1978 when lead-based paint was banned. The study finds lower-income residents tend to move into those houses because they are less expensive. Vigo County Health Department spokesperson Christina Keller says they don't have the money to strip out the lead-based paint from those homes, but her department does provide free blood screening process for children under the age of six. And a golf course in Owen County is reopening after being shut down for the past nine months. The former manager died last year and there's been an ongoing legal battle about who should take it over. Since a court appointed the Essex Golf Management Company to take over management in May, the course has been making a comeback, although it hasn't been easy. But after weeks of restoring the property, the course reopened today. Members of the staff say the phone has been ringing off the hook from residents who are excited about the reopening. Now a quick check of the weather forecast. A slight chance of rain showers after midnight. Lows tonight 58 degrees and a pretty nice five-day forecast. A little bit of rain on Thursday. Highs in the mid-70s, 78 on the 4th of July. Mostly sunny conditions continue on through Saturday.